Hi, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to a lazy Saturday afternoon edition of Hey Josh, What You Drinking With? With me, Josh. Uh, I'm at home a Saturday afternoon in my pajamas, as you can see, uh, doing everything I can to avoid going out of my house today and uh, definitely staying away from the freedom me free dumpsters free dumpsters the idiots downtown with their wah, wah, and their freedoms so i'm at home with beer excellent good day good day today so uh, as i posted on some of the other socials uh, this week uh last weekend i was in uh, wakefield quebec enjoying myself and the weather and uh, stopped in at the Wakefield uh, General Store uh, looking for, specifically looking for Gainsborough, but I was looking for the uh, uh, the uh, the aged Scotch Ale that I had read about in their, in the, uh, in the paper. Couldn't find it there. I had no plans on stopping at the IGA or Wakefield or looking for it, but so general store Gainsborough picked up four uh, selections from Gainsborough Brewery uh, in uh, is, is it Wakefield? They're not. They're not in Wakefield, are they? No, I think they are. In, all it says is Gap. way whatever so i grabbed this one and three others so we have here a uh new england ipa i'm gonna check the back here i'm not a french speaker but i can let's see get blonde opaque style nipa uh bouquet tangerines Pineapple, tropical fruits, something else, and uh, something else. And it lists, hey, it also lists the, uh, can we see here? Look, it lists the, uh, the hops that are used. So we've got a New England style IPA with an IBU of 40. So that's uh, right there. It's going to be a pretty darn hoppy. So I, a New England style IPA, I would expect to be, as mentioned, fairly um, fruity, definitely uh, well hopped, and uh, so let's see what we got. Okay, cracked it open. Okay. Right away, I smell. I smell um, tangerine and um, tangerine and pineapple. I mean, if I didn't know better, if this was a blind smell test, I would think that was some sort of a fruit punch. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's pour this out and see what we have here. Yeah, the color on that is quite nice. not as hazy as I would have expected from a New England style IPA. Okay. Your head on that baby. That is a nice foamy head. Hey, I'm gonna pause for a second, take the pictures for the socials. And as I uh, mentioned before, you can check out the socials on uh, uh, you know, Instagram and TikTok. Uh, those are both under at that beer thing dot ca, uh, as well as my own personal one uh, at the original Joshua J. On both those platforms, but you're watching here on YouTube, and I would once again ask to do the things, please. I need some subscribers to make it to make it so that I can make it. Okay. Thanks. Anyway, that's my pitch. And again, uh, back to the beer. Look at that. It's not 
as hazy as I would have expected from typical uh, New England style, but it is it is definitely opaque. The uh, I'm quite impressed that the head, the the foamy head is still there's a dog hair on the top there. That'll happen in my house. There's dog hair. Um, again, the the aroma. Roman, this is a little more. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me, a little less um, citrusy once it's poured out, much more pineapple-y, but there is a very, there's a distinct um, yeasty, somewhat banana-y, uh, would make me think that there's some sort of Belgian yeast in here to make it like that. But. It smells good. I, again, though, if I if this is a blind smell test, I would still think. Well, and now I would think it's some sort of fermented uh, well, fruit punch. But anyway, down the hatch. Let's check it out. Okay, that's very pleasant. It's much thinner than I would have expected. Uh, uh, New England style IPA like this, I would have expected some like uh, the milk feel from a, a, a like a flaked uh, malt kind of thing, but or even uh, or even somewhat bready a little bit, but I don't get that from here. There's a very there's a very odd but not unpleasant, somewhat medicinal aftertaste to it a little bit getting me on the sides of my my tongue here i can't really describe it um yeah but it's it's not unpleasant but it, it's unexpected for sure all right um The the, uh, the carbonation on this, although you can't really see it so much in the, uh, the bubble, it's there. It kind of just it hits your tongue and kind of explodes out instead of being bubbly. It's really really interesting. Um, this is nice. Um, not exactly what I would have expected, but also quite good. Now, as you know, if you've watched this this uh, show before, although I really do like IPAs, the whole super hoppy, uh, juicy, fruity, juicy fruit, juicy fruity um, um, uh, trend with uh, the 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 West Coast IPAs and the the uh, New England IPAs and such. Um, definitely not my favorite, but also very good. So, uh, overall, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, looking forward to getting into the other Gainsborough uh, selections that I have in my beer cooler. Uh, all right, so I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to say cheers, and uh, freedom. Thanks, guys.